Do I think capitalism is a curse? Yes. Am I a bit ashamed of my book hoarding habits? Yes. But I can turn those habits into content and then feel less ashamed about it. So logic. So today I'm going to go through all of my shelves and show off all of my fancy special editions and give my rankings on how good of a special edition it is. Over the past few years it's become a trend in the book collecting community especially to gather up copies of your books that are personalized or customized whether that be through a subscription box or through a shop that does special personalizations on it and I have a lot of those and I'm gonna show them off all today and tell you which ones are my favorites and why. So in my opinion one of the most basic kind of book customization options you have is an alternate color cover and a lot of book subscription boxes do this one. For instance this is the standard versus the Owl Crate edition of Legend Boy by Tracy Dion. I think this is an okay change. I'm not like super stoked about it. I do actually prefer the original color scheme better but this one here is actually a sneaky little personalized exclusive copy too because this has sprayed edges. This is also one of my favorite kinds of customizations for books but it kind of makes me reluctant to actually open the book and read it because I'm scared of messing up the pretty designs that may be on it or like rubbing the edges off. Like if it's a well-made one it shouldn't do that. You should be fine but you know it's like a little peekaboo surprise so if you have it on your shelf you don't notice until like well bam but then sometimes if you're me you'll put them on your shelf like this so you can admire them both. Similar thing going with the standard and owl crate editions of Bloodmarked. Now I actually do like this cover of Bloodmarked better just because I think the dark black with the gold lettering is super freaking cool and matches the vibe of this book. But again this one's got sneaky little sprayed edges which are purple which matches perfectly with the blue and red combined. I like these both honestly. Excellent choices. And then I also picked up a copy of the Goldsboro edition of Bloodmarked. Now this is a paperback which Bloodmarked is not out in paperback in the US right now but it is in the UK. This Goldsboro edition also has fancy sprayed edges but but a little bonus, there's also a design. It's the fun little Legendborn mark and all the pretty mage flame and symbols and I think this is absolutely gorgeous. Now the only problem I have with edges like this is that the designs here, especially if they're mass produced and not done by a small shop, tend to get a little wonky. As you can see they're not totally centered and it's kind of cut off on the edges so I'll give this a solid like 8 out of 10. It's a good concept, good idea. I just wish it was slightly less imperfect because it does bother me that it's not quite right. This copy of After Love by Tanya Byrne also has pink sprayed edges all the way around. A nice 6 out of 10. Pretty basic but pretty cute. Again it's a UK copy so it's smaller than my other paperbacks and it doesn't quite fit in with the rest of the sizing of the books on my shelf but I can deal with it because it's pretty. This copy of This Poison Heart by Kaylin Barron has alternate colors on the cover. This is the original right here and this is the one that I've got. So it's a little bit different, just enough where it's noticeable but not super super stand out, especially in comparison with most of my other personalized books. So I'll give this a 4 out of 10. This copy of Wicked Fox by Cat Show also comes with some nice hot pink sprayed edges. This one's also signed and came with some art so that's a bonus but I'm going to keep my rating just for the actual book customizations itself and not anything extra that came along with it. So again, because it's hardcover and it fits a little better, I'll give this one a 5 out of 10. This copy of Winterwood by Shay Earnshaw is gorgeous. It is a completely different color cover from the original and it has blue sprayed edges. I think that this white cover with the blue and gold on it works so much better than the original dark cover. I'm going to give this one a solid 7 out of 10. I think it is so, so pretty. These copies of Ray Bear and Redemptor by Jordan E. Fuego are from Illumicrate and they are probably one of my favorite customized books of all time. Not only do they have this original brand new cover on them, but the edges are sprayed ombre and it is phenomenal and so gorgeous to look at on my shelf. So I usually display them where at least one is facing outward because how could you not? <laughs> 10 out of 10, stunning, gorgeous, never been done before. This next one is also a very beautiful sprayed edge and that is the Owl Crate edition of Goddess in the Machine by Laura Beth Johnson with these beautiful gold metallic sprayed edges. I think it goes perfectly with both the plot of the book and the cover of the book so this is a solid 7.5 out of 10. Love this. In that same exact vein, these copies of The Kinder Poison and The Cruelest Mercy, both by Natalie May, are from bookishshines.com and they also have pretty gold sprayed edges. Absolutely stunning. I think it especially goes well with the gold lettering on the book so solid 7.5 out of 10 for both of these as well. Stay in that same vein this copy of The Kingdom of Back by Marie Lu has pretty silver sprayed edges and it is a slightly different cover from the original. It's almost indistinguishable but it just brings out the silver colors a little bit more so it adds that extra pop with the sprayed edges and it is so pretty. 7 out of 10 for this. And then this copy of Year of the Reaper by Makia Lucier has these gorgeous black dark as night as my soul sprayed edges and come on 
that's perfect. It looks so good, especially with all the bronze accenting on the cover. Fantastic. 8 out of 10. These copies here of Bone Cryer's Moon and Bone Cryer's Dawn by Catherine Purdy have slightly altered covers from the original. They're a little bit more zoomed in on the character art. And then they've got these fantastic gold and silver sprayed edges. We've got quite a trend going on on this one particular shelf, actually. Pretty accenting and it matches the font on the covers of the books, so I think this is a fantastic customization. 7 out of 10. This copy here of The Bright and the Pale by Jessica Rubinkowski has this gorgeous slight blue sparkly edge. Hard to tell whenever you're looking a little bit farther away, but when you look up close, it is absolutely a sparkly pearlescent blue, like a periwinkle, which of course matches this cover gorgeously. And I love the inclusion of the sparkle. Nice little extra touch. <laughs> now here I have the standard edition of Witches Steeped in Gold, but here I have the Fairy Loot Edition, which not only has an entirely new customized dust jacket, but also has sprayed edges that are a fancy cool geometric design that matches the green on the cover. I think this is probably one of the most stunning books I own. Honestly, 9 out of 10. Beautiful. This edition of Star Daughter also has a completely new alternate cover, which is purple instead of the original color, and it's got a nice silver spine here and purple sprayed edges. I give this one a 7.5 out of 10. Alright, drum roll everyone. This is the entire reason why I made this video. Now here I have the standard edition of The Sunbearer Trials by Aidan Thomas. But I love this book so much that I said, not only am I buying one extra copy, I'm buying two. So the first one I got is the copy from Obsidian Moon Crate, which has an alternate gorgeous cover. Character is the same as the original, but a nice new perspective with these amazing dark gold sprayed edges. Also the back of the cover. Stunning, beautiful, amazing, never been done before. But then, oh, but then, I ordered this copy from Dazzling Bookish Shop. It is by far the most gorgeous book I own, period. Pretty, pretty wings, right? Turn it around, look at that gorgeous spine here. The other side of the wings here. But you aren't ready for what these sprayed edges look like. Yeah, those are pages of the book. Look at this. Look at it. It, it, it. Look how gorgeous. I love this. I love this so much. Oh my god, 12 out of 10. Blows everything else I own out of the water. Look at how pretty this is. Oh my god. Here is A Sweet and Bitter Magic by Adrienne Tooley with this nice, beautiful lavender color here on the pages. Nice 7 out of 10 here. Matches pretty well. I like it. This is one of my other pretty unique ones. This is Where Dreams Descend, and it is an entirely new alternate cover that's printed on the hardback. So there's no Dutch jacket here. It's actually completely just printed on the hardback. And it's honestly kind of gorgeous. Nothing on the pages or anything, but with all this pretty gold and red here, I give it a nice solid 6.5 out of 10. I think these babies deserve an honorable mention. These are my alternate dust jackets for the original Percy Jackson and the Olympian series. So each one is designed to fit the original hardbacks. So these are just the standard copies of the books, but the little extra pizzazz added on, which is always fun. You know, makes them a little more unique. And even though I have them on my shelf where you currently can't see the covers, I know they're there and I think it's just fun to take a little extra sneak peek at all this pretty character art. And then of course I've got this copy of How the King of Elfheim Learned to Hate Stories. It's a completely new alternate cover. It's purple. Not only is the new Dutch jacket purple, but the actual new case of the book is also purple with this gorgeous print on here. And it's got custom gold end papers and it has gold sprayed edges. So I think this hit every single customization point you could possibly get. And for that, 10 out of 10, obviously. It's gorgeous. Purple's my favorite color, I'm a little biased. Now, both of these editions of Lore by Alexandra Bracken are also exclusive editions. They both have alternate covers. The Owl Crate one does a color swap, and then the Fairy Loot one takes a few elements out of the original. So it's a little more minimalistic, and it looks kind of like marble. Plus, the Fairy Loot one also has this nice pretty snake on the spine, as well as some snakes on the gold sprayed edges, which really aren't gold, they're more yellow, but I think they were meant to be gold gold would have fit a little better, which is why I'm going to give this one a 7 out of 10 and same for here. Wait, no, let me be fair. The fairy loot version can actually go up to, let's say, an 8, 8.5 because it's also got this gorgeous Medusa on the hardback and an alternate dust jacket art, so 
you know, I'll get a little extra something something. This copy of So This Is Ever After by F.T. Lukens is also from the same shop that did my favorite Sunbearer Trials copy. So naturally it has equally gorgeous sprayed edges of the sword and the scepter and these gorgeous stars, the pink here and the purple here. Absolutely stunning. I'm gonna give this one a nine out of 10. I think these are some of my favorite edges, but there's no other customizations. But honestly, I don't think it needs it either, so. Here we have a standard edition of Sorcery of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson, but let's make it purple. This is the Alcra edition. It got also a nice little upgrade of these gold letters instead of the silver, and I think it's just real, real pretty. The spine underneath also got a nice little color upgrade, so that bumps it up to a solid like 7.5 out of 10. Good on you. I just noticed that this matches too. That was unintentional. <laughs> Here I've got These Hollow Vows by Lexi Ryan. This is an edition that changed the entire cover into a new alternate image and gave us some nice sprayed edges. There's a sun pattern here and then it's solid orange on the top and bottom. It also came with some embossing on the hardback and character art on the alternate side of the dust jacket. So this is a beautiful edition. I would give this a solid 9 out of 10. This copy here of Fire with Fire by Destiny Soroya also has very similar customizations. New cover, sprayed edges all the way around with a new dust jacket and a new embossing on the hardback. Dun -ba -ba. And da -da -da. Yeah. And last but certainly not least, this copy of Jade Fire Gold also has very similar customizations. Brand new cover, sprayed edges, gorgeous sword there in that pink, and we've got embossing here and character art. One thing about the alternate character art on the dust jackets is that I don't like taking my dust jackets off and I also don't want to crease them in the wrong direction. So it's kind of like a little hidden surprise because I'm never going to see it again. And I sometimes forget it's there. So 8.5 slash 9 out of 10 for those. <laughs> I've got a love-hate relationship with special edition books that are that pretty because on one hand they look gorgeous on my shelves, but on the other hand I'm kind of scared to read them. So then I end up just buying multiple copies of the same book to have one to actually physically read and one to just stare at. So, forming bad habits, yes, but is it worth it? We'll see. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this content or similar content to it, you can always feel free to subscribe. I stand here and babble about books pretty often, so if you like things like that, go ahead and stick around for a while. I think you'll probably like that decision. It's been a pleasure having you. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.